Good morning, grade two. If you missed me, I missed you too. I hope all had a great weekend with their families. Now, boys and girls, in our lesson today, we're gonna learn and study a new chapter. It is all about shapes. But today we will talk about two dimensional shapes. What are these two dimensional shapes? The two dimensional shapes are all the shapes that are flat and sometimes are closed and sometimes open. Okay? So they are all flat and closed or open. I want you, before we start, I want you to have a white paper and scissors and pencil. I want you to draw on the white paper circles, triangle, squares, rectangles, and hexagon. The first one is the circle. I want you to cut the circle and just to stick it next to the circle. This is a circle. It's not nice like what you have, of course. You're sure I have amazing circle. And now I want you to stick the hexagon next to the hexagon. What is the hexagon? The hexagon is a side that has six. It's a shape that has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Immediately imagine it and remember it like hex, it's six sides. Hexagon, six sides, okay? From hex, it's six. Great job. So it's six sides. Squares, draw the square, you know it. It has four sides and all have the same size. They are all the same. Rectangle, two long sides and two small sides. Now, triangles, it has just three sides. Okay? Now, I want you to start coloring it. You have white paper. You, you stuck already the white paper. So, I want you to color it now color the circle the hexagon that has six sides square rectangle and triangle when you're done please move to the next page which is 600 740 it's 740 here we go all right Great job. Now, hold your pencil only. Move everything away from you and pick up your pencil and let's read together. A two-dimensional shapes. A two-dimensional shape. This is the word we, we learned today. Two-dimensional shape. is a shape with only length and width. It has length. And it has width. Let us know and study some two-dimensional shapes. This is a circle. This is a triangle. Square and rectangles. These four shapes are so easy for you and you learned them before. Now let's go to the fifth shape. Look at this shape. It has five straight lines connected together. And the six sides are making angles or they made corners. Okay? I have one, two, three, four, and five. So it, the pentagon has five sides. Look at the hexagon now. Pentagon was a new. You need to review it too much. And the hexagon is a new too. 
immediately remember when I say hexagon, you remember it's six. Hex for six. Six sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So the shape that has five sides, we call it pentagon. The shape that has six sides, we call it hexagon. Now, let us look at the third one that we will learn today. What do we call it? We call it parallelogram. What do we call it? Parallelogram. Why did we say parallelogram? Because I have two parallel sides are same and the other parallel are the same. Okay? These are, what do we call it? Parallelogram. Now, look at the trapezoid. This is a trapezoid. Trapezoid has short side up, longer side down, and two same side right and left. Okay? So, five sides for pentagon, six side for hexagon, six for hexagon, parallelogram, and you have a trapezoid. Now, let's read the questions together. Circle the shapes that match the name. Okay? Parallelogram. Where is the parallelogram? Let's see. This is a one, two, three, four, five, and six. When you hear six, that means hex. Six hexagon. Okay, hexagon, hexagon. Now, so this is not parallelogram. Let's look at the second one. Look at the second one. Hmm, what is this name? What does it name? What does it call? What does it call? I don't remember. I will keep it for a while. Let's go to the third one. It's a circle, so it is not the parallelogram. Look at the last one. The last one is having a shape like the second one. Look at it carefully. If I just move my book a little bit, I will see the same shape like the purple one. What do we call it? We call it parallelogram so these two are parallelogram great job now let's go to the second question question number two i need to circle the triangle where is the triangle okay this is the triangle great job this is look like a parallelogram also, and we can also name it like diamond or rhombus, okay? This is a sleeping triangle, while this one, let's count it, one, two, three, four, five. Five, it's pentagon, so it's not a triangle, I cannot circle it, and I cannot circle the rhombus or diamond. Or the parallelogram, also we can say. Now, write the name of the shape and then circle the shape that matches. Okay? Let's write the name first. First, I cannot write the name before counting the sides. Because I have two shapes, little bit are similar. They both are pentagon and hexagon. I should count the sides first. One, two, three four, five, and six. It has six sides. So always when I hear word six, so it's hexagon. So what do we call it? It is hex, then agon, hexagon. Okay, now I need to go to the next side and see how I need to circle the shape that matches the hexagon. Where is the hexagon? I should count very carefully. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So six, I'm gonna circle it. 
if it has six sides, so it's hexagon. This has four sides, it's not hexagon. This has also four sides, it's not hexagon. And this has one, two, three, four, and five sides, it is not hexagon. It is pentagon. Great job, boys and girls. Put a very big, big star. You deserve it. Now, let's repeat again. Pentagon, five sides. S hexagon, six sides. Parallelogram, four sides. And trapezoids, also four sides. The first side, the, the upper side is shorter than the bottom one. Now, boys and girls, we're done from this page. Can you please go to the next page, 741? Now, I want you all to read the question very well. They said circle the shapes that match the name. We did similar, similar one. And then write the name of the shape. Circle the shape that matches also. We did the same. The last question is circle the shape that does not belong in each group. You need to circle the shape that is not belong in each group. When you're done with this page, please go to the next page, which is page 742. Now, I will read with you question number 12. We'll solve it together. And then you will solve the rest alone. Question number 12. Identify the shape of each sign. Look at this shape. It has three sides. So what do we call the three sides? We call it triangle. Okay. Now, the second shape. Speed limit 75. Look at it. This has two short so sides are facing to each other and two long sides are also facing to each other. What do we call it? We call it rect angle. So rectangle. Of course, your handwriting will be better than mine. And you're so nice, very nice face, so sure you will have very nice handwriting. Put a big star here, please. Continue the, last, the rest of the page and send me your work. Thank you so much, grade two, for watching and following. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.